The live commentary may not reflect this rating. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, it's Clonoclex999. Welcome back, more Plants vs. Zombies in the last episode. We finished the last minigame, Dr. Zomboss's Revenge. And there goes Discord again. And, and in this episode, we're going to start on the, cu the, puzzle, the puzzle mode. Uh, before we do, however, we have four Zen Garden plants to take care of. Now, if you're wondering how I got this fourth one, um, before we actually got our first one, which was the spike weed down there, um, I was getting footage for the, uh, f to show, um, some stuff in, uh, whack a zombie and I got, I actually ended up getting a, a Zen Garden plant from a zombie, or it was either for that or from a grave, I forget, but, um, either way, we got, either way, um, I got a, uh, a new Zen Garden plant, and I can't wait to see what it is. Alright, let's see what it is. Oh, it's a fume shroom. Yeah, because yeah, because we got the uh because we got the because we got the sprout at night, um, it was a mushroom and not like a normal plant. And obviously because you know it's daytime in here, I guess we're in like a greenhouse right now. And um it's asleep. And when it's asleep you can't water it or fertilize it until it's awake. So what you gotta do is um You need to get this, um, you need to get this, uh, mushroom garden. And while I do kind of want to get it, I don't really think I want to get it now, because I still want, I would rather save up, save up to get, um, ten slots. Um, what I will do, however, is I, I guess I'll, um, gosh, do I want, do I want to get these marigold sprouts? You will make, we will make a profit out of them, but... Yeah, I'll go ahead and get him. Alright, let's fertilize our spike weed. And our pumpkin. So we got a red one and two purple ones. Okay. Um, back to the main menu. We are going to start on... Puzzle! So, we have two types of puzzles. Face Breaker, aka level 4-5, and Eye Zombie. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, start off with Face Breaker, but let me tell you, uh, Eye Zombie's really fun. Uh, let me just, uh, wanna look at the achievements real quick. Uh, okay, there are, um, there are achievements regarding them. Alright, let's begin with Face Breaker. This here is Vase Breaker! Some of these levels are really difficult! Good luck! Uh, don't you mean, BREAK IT LIKE YOU MEAN, HARVEY! Okay, so Vase Breaker. Uh, same rules as before. Um, it's going to be only, uh, one, uh, one round, however. There's not gonna be, um, two, uh, three rounds like a level 4 or 5 was. And just a reminder, the, um, the, va the green vases with the leaf will always contain a plant. So what I usually like to do is, is break the uh, the backmost faces first. See what we get out of them, and then uh, break the break the ones that will guarantee to have plants in them. Then uh, start placing them down. But like I but oh yeah, Jack in the Box Zombie, it will um, destroy the uh, the pods. But the problem with the uh, plant the seed packets is the fact that they will disappear if you don't use them. So you kind of gotta. So you wanna, you wanna take Dave's warning to heart. Don't break them too fast, so you don't have too, more zombies than you can handle. But also, but also, so you don't have so many seed packets just disappearing and being useless. I mean, this is the first one, so it's not really gonna. So it's not gonna be like crazy. It's not gonna be like crazy difficult. Uh, just be forewarned that in these levels you will have no lawnmowers, so you won't be able to, um, so you won't have any, uh, last line of defense if the zombies get past your plants. So just wait for them to take out that bucket head. Oh. 
but because the uh, levels are super easy, um, you will not get a diamond, you will instead just get five gold coins. And if, we re and if you replay it, you will only get two gold coins. You, you got a trophy! Trophy! You've unlocked a new, a new vase breaker level. To the left! Okay. Now the left side of the lawn is, um, not, or excuse me, the right side of the lawn is, uh, completely open. That is because, we break these open, we have these repeaters that are facing to the left. I don't know why they, I don't really know why they put backwards repeaters here. Maybe it's because, maybe it's because, um, I don't know why there's backwards repeaters in here and not like just split peas. But maybe they did that to be, to, because uh, maybe some people would have like actually put the split peas like in the front and not the back like you'd want them to. So they, uh, so they did the repeaters. So you get, so they did the repeaters uh, facing the other way, so you won't have, so uh, people will know to like put them on the left. Or on the right, sorry. Jeez, I can't, I cannot recognize left and right correctly. Oh, Jack in the Box. <laughs> that reminds me when I used to play Rugrats Real Ransom and I saw the, uh, and I saw the, uh, the Angelica in the box and I was like, oh, Jack in the Box! Okay. I want bucket heads. All right, so this is pretty good. Once again, we win. Yeah, we win, says Rosalina and Mark Hart. We. Third vase. Is there going to be something special in the third vase? Well, let me break the uh, leftmost, the rightmost ones first. Let's see what we got in here. We got a Hypno Shroom, so I think that's a sign of what- Oh, hello! I'm gonna put- I'm gonna do that. Come on, summon backup dancers. Oh, darn it. Ooh, nice jump. Hey, free diamond. And, uh, sprawling! Alright, that walnut is going down. We better take those guys out quick. Oh, I get it. To the left, it's like a dance term. Alright, let's see what we got in these. Oh. And we just win. Woo, 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 woo. Next one is Chain Reaction. Oh, this one's really fun. That's that's partially the reason why. <laughs> okay. What you're supposed to do here is um well put down the plants. But basically what happens here is um be careful by the way because the uh, Jack and Box zombies will um destroy any any plants too. You have a it's a literal chain reaction. Also, we got a football player. Um, we have a lot of puff shrooms here. Oh no, you just broke my... Uh, you broke my puff shrooms. There you go. Yeah, that's why you don't get much money from uh, for uh, the for these levels is that they're ridiculously easy. Next one is M is for metal. And you know, I bet you can imagine what plant we're using here. 
Yep, it's pumpkin. But it's also Megatroom. I really, I really like these puzzle modes because they actually really, uh, they really make you think. Then we've got Hypno Shrooms and Jack in the Boxes. Can we possibly get the, uh, get the, uh, football player before? Yes! Oh, yes! Uh, you can also, I didn't mention this, but you can actually right-click to, um, cancel a, uh, putting down a plant. Probably should have mentioned that a long time ago, but I didn't. Another magnet shroom. A few more stuff we got in here. And we win again. These are so short. I think we might actually get uh, beat every single um, base breaker in one video. Next, Scary Potter. Get get, get it? Because we got scare. We got pots with scary things in here. Vase pot, same thing. All right, we got um, a pole walkers here. And squash. Got any powerful zombies in here? Got the squash right here. As long as we got a repeater in each lane, we're good. Get both of them. No, you missed one. No, 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 no. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Okay, thank goodness, we're good. I think we might- I actually do plan on showing what the game over animation looks like, but... Uh... I didn't think we would do it so soon. Alright. Just break the ones that have tall nuts in front of them. We got three Peters here as well. Oh, and, uh, and, um, and a Jack in the Box. I mean, I didn't show this off, but, um, if you actually have a three, uh, Torchwood, like, right next to a three-peater, it'll actually still turn it into a fireball. Somehow. Which I guess is helping. <laughs> Alright, just sit here, wait for those or these guys to take out the football player. Unlocked a new vase breaker level. Hokey pokey. Oh, hokey pokey, of course. Of course, we would be using spike weed. <laughs> and we can put one in every lane. Uh, spike weed cannot take out a uh, uh, zombie all on his own, though, so. Actually, with walnut, he can. And two spike weeds can definitely take them out. I want to find a powerful zombie we can use um, squash on. No, oh, like that. No, I needed that walnut. Okay, I'll just use the uh, squash on uh, the bucket head. Poke. Poke, 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 pop. Oh, I said pop at the wrong time. How does, how does a zombie getting hurt in his feet pop his head off and his, and his arm?
Hey, everything's all white. Okay, we're good. And I think we might actually have some unused footage of me having a conversation with my mother. Maybe I'll include it at the end of this video, I don't know. Alright, up next is another chain reaction. Hey, we didn't get ambushed on the first few. Uh, those. We want to be careful with where we place these, though. Oh, wow. Man, place them down quick. Or, we gotta put something down. Oh god, Pogo zombies. Well, luckily we have the squash. Two of them? <laughs> Well, that's what the tall nut's for. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, what? Two of them? Another one. Oh, whoa! Holy jeez. Okay. Kill it. Okay, we're good. Pogo zombies are the worst. Last one, well, not the last one, but the last one we can get a trophy for, Ace of Base. So we got two three-peaters right off the bat. Alright, let's look around. Oh, okay, I was not expecting that, um, but yes, we have a Gargantuar here. And the, yeah, I think the M's going to be an issue. Not for three Peters. Oh, the uh, uh, the uh, I forgot about that. The um, the gargantuan will actually crush the um, crush the uh, the vases. That was like totally out of nowhere. Okay, I need another squash, please. Please. Squash. 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 No, put it down. Put it down. Whew. Oh, Planturn. I could finally show this. Planturn is used to, um, Planturn is used to, um, basically sh reveal what's in the vases. That was kind of a bad run of that stage, but it was fun. I kind of want to play it again. Yeah, yeah, that was so good, I reckon I'll play it again. That is a reference to um, the original Grand Theft Auto. Okay. Now, let's see if we can find the plants urn. And sh see if we can find the Gargantuar in its vase. Potato mine, I'll put it right here. Let's find the plant urn. Oh, there was another zombie on top of that one. Oh, come on. There's actually an achievement you can get in the mobile version of Plants vs. Zombies. Um where uh, you where you um ba basically use a plant urn to find the uh to find a gargantuar in the vase. Unfortunately, I'm not having a lot of luck finding the planter. You know what? I gotta restart the level, and I'm gonna smash vases until I find the planter. And also before I find the gargantuar. Where's the planter? I don't know if they can, I don't know if the planter can appear in the, uh, in the, uh, the plant bases. I think they. Oh, maybe they. Maybe it can. I don't know. 
Where's the plant urn? That's not the plant urn. Come on, I want to see if we can. I want to see if we can find use the plant urn to find a gargantuar in the vase. Oh, here we go. There it is. We ha we found the gargantuar in the vase. Okay. I think that's I think that's enough. Uh, I think that's enough uh, vase breaker for now. And next time on Plants vs Zombies, uh, we actually have an achievement I want to get. Uh, the achievement that is um, China Shop, which is get to a streak of 15 in Vase Breaker Endless. So next time on Plants vs Zombies, we're gonna try to get China Shop. See you guys then.